Welcome into Extra Time. Thank you very much for your tweets. Did you see the show? Did you watch the Champions League draw? You didn't watch it, did you? No, I didn't watch it. Did you watch it, Ali? Yes, sir. Eric Cantona's speech, that's the first question. What did you Oh, make? there's a surprise. Uh, it was interesting. The outfit was interesting. Everything about Eric Cantona was interesting. The beard was impressive. Yes, very impressive. Much better than Mark's. Well, I don't know what Mark's <laughs> trying to do, but whatever he's trying to do is not accomplished. No, but if you're Cantonar's beard is a proper beard. Yeah. So yeah. Mark, if you're going to go beard, surely yeah. you have to go Cantonar-esque with your beard. Yeah, but I think Cantonar speaks more sense than me as well, so, you know, well, I think he's got, it, he's got me beaten always. You know. uh, what did you make of his speech, Mark? I'm still trying to work it out. I mean, I kind of understood these, the seagulls and trawler one, but... You know, this one, uh, this is lost. Apparently he's quoting Shakespeare, but still, I think it was... Uh, I, I, the best part was when the camera pans to the crowd and there was this look of absolute shock and <laughs> terror almost on people's faces. Saying, what is he going to say next? So uh, it could have been a lot worse. There was, a, there was a, a look of Messi and Ronaldo almost like, are we understanding what he's saying? Or What language did he do it in? I'm not sure what language he did it in. You, you, what do you mean? Well, English, I guess. Right, okay. English. <laughs> yeah. What do you, what do you, was it a trick question? What do you I think? don't know. Well, maybe he did it in French as a translator. <laughs> no, really. but, well, but maybe Messi wasn't understanding correctly because his, his face was like, is he, what, is he going there? What's, what's he yeah. doing? But Messi doesn't speak English either, does he? Well, I'm guessing there would be a translator in his ear. Dan, I don't know how this works. I, you may be surprised, but I did not get invited to the... Uh, UEFA Player of the Year award ceremony. Oh. Yeah. Who's that big sigh in my ear? Well, I think that's Mark. He's, he's, he's done with it. He's over it. Sid, which is more interesting? Sid's here as well, by the way. Do you want to say anything about Cantona, Hello. Sid? No, no, I, just, I was just picking up on, on, on what Ali was saying about having the translator in his ear. That's the person who suffered the most with this speech. <laughs> How do you translate that? <laughs> you must have translated some people in your years, Sid, being in Spain. Yeah, yeah, a few. Yeah. Who's the most famous person yeah, you've translated? It hasn't always gone well. Uh, well, when they were at Real Madrid, I did uh, Beckham and Woodgate and Michael Owen and, and Thomas Gravison as well. Do you remember I met Mark? Did um, do you remember when I met, did Sylvester Stallone that time? Yes, that was, yeah. uh, I did yeah. Sylvester Stallone. There were two of us. In fact, funny enough, in the very building I'm in now, in yeah. a studio across the way, that's where the Sylvester Stallone interview was. Is that where it was? There you go. Yeah. Anyway. Hold on a second. Did you just make all of that to make sure that you dropped the fact that you were talking to Sylvester Stallone? No, it just, it's it just no, it flew beautifully yeah, into the conversation. No, I, I think you pulled it out of nowhere and said, you don't remember Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> Which one is more interesting? The thing was, oh. Sylvester oh. Stallone was, was delighted. <laughs> it, was, it, it, was the, it was the best day of Sylvester Stallone's life, he oh, said. He loved, sure it was. he loved it. He was so pleased. Which one is more interesting, Real Madrid against PSG or Atleti against Juventus, Sid? Uh, Atletico against Juventus, I suppose, because it feels... I, I don't know. I mean, look, this is going to sound very unfair and, and some people are going to get very angry, but I can't quite bring myself to be excited about Paris Saint-Germain. I, I just sort of can't do it. Um, so, Atletico Juventus. Why is Jesse Lingard so liked by Southgate and OTS? He isn't particularly good at anything. He is not creative on the ball. He can't pick a pass and is terribly inconsistent. Ooh. Mark, obviously. Do you want me to translate Eric Cantona rather than answer that question? <laughs> uh, I mean, that, they, it's a tough one because Jesse Lingard is, divides opinion, um, increasingly so that people think he shouldn't be where he is. But what, what does he give United? He gives them, uh, let me see, um, local spirit, uh, brought to oh, the ranks. Oh dear. Did, uh, yeah. You know, he's having a bad time, isn't he? He's got a few good goals, <laughs> but he, uh, uh, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Well, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Steve? Would you like to be described? No, like that, I'm, I'm the same. I, I can't figure out why why he's in the English squad. Yeah. To be honest, you know, he doesn't he doesn't score goals. He's he doesn't no Madison, is he? Doesn't assist goals. Oh, he's no James Madison, no, no. question. <laughs> so he's got a good dance, Steve. He, he, he does a dance pretty well and a dab, and you know, yep. social media is pretty good. So that's all about social media these days. So maybe there's a, an element of uh, you know, Jesse Jesse helps the brand. Yeah, no, I'm with, I'm with Mark here, I don't get it. Right, let's go back in time, literally. Ooh. If you go back in time, in any time in history, what era would it be? If you care enough, I'd love to knock about with Leonardo da Vinci and Florence in the Renaissance. What? Wow. This, this is surely to Sid, who's got a doctorate in Spanish history. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, but that, that's, that would be to take this question really quite seriously, wouldn't it? I mean, there's all sorts of things that you could say about, about time travel and going back and stopping Hitler and all those kind of things. Oh. Um, but no, the answer is the, the answer is always to these questions, where do you want to be somewhere in the mid-80s? That's always oh. the answer. <laughs> See, why would you want to go back a week? I think Steve then? would agree with that. Yeah, Steve would definitely have got to go no. back to the mid-80s. <laughs> Absolutely. Why, can you imagine all the, all the things that were going on then? Like, you couldn't even go to the dentist with... Well, oh yeah, that's the biggest thing. Biggest well, concern. Like, well, you sit, you can sit and talk to, you can sit and talk to Da Vinci for five minutes, but then you've got to go to the dentist, and he's going to pull your teeth out with pliers. We need. Stevie, we a bottle last, of whiskey for. When's the last time you went to the dentist? <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> so there you go. What's the problem? Yeah, but why would you pick an era? Yeah. Where there's no dentist. Well, there's no dentist. That was just an example of I how mean, bad it would be back then. But an age of enlightenment, Stevie. Huh? Knowledge can and me with creativity McGout. and... Can you imagine me with my goat back then? Well, that's they just chop your leg off. <laughs> Stick some leeches on it. <laughs> Ali? Oh, I like mid-80s too. Mid-80s? Mm -hmm. So we're only that far. Dinosaurs? Came back to dinosaurs. Ah, yes. Well, actually, well, dinosaurs. Well, well, yes, but if I could get back here soon. Yeah, exactly. That's quickly. <laughs> well, back, <laughs> go there, see the dinosaurs, come back. Back, back to see your orthodontist. Yeah. Obviously. Oggy, yeah. <laughs> as a Mancunian. On the 25th anniversary of Definitely Maybe, what's your favourite Oasis song? Um, I've had a bit of an argument today with people kind of comparing that to the Stone Roses' first album, but that is a different debate. So my favourite Oasis song off that album would be Supersonic. Yeah. Did you like Oasis or did you hate them because they were from Manchester? No, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of, the, of them. per se, as they're some of the antics they get up to. Right. But Wonderwall was great. I mean, talk about... That's a good karaoke song. Oh, what? what? Cut the beers, everybody yes. together. <laughs> Throwing a wonder wall at magic. <laughs> you speak with uh, experience there, Stevie. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Sid, where did your opinion lie on Oasis? A bit mainstream well, I, I'm, I'm just... I, I'm, I'm, I'm drawn into, into the suggestion that Wonderwall is a karaoke song. Of course it is. And if, like me, it's a karaoke song, if you do it the Mike Flowers pop version, to disguise the fact that you can't sing to save your life. <laughs> so there you go, Wonderwall. Wonderwall. Ali, Oasis fan? Sure. Sure, good. Yeah. That's it, you just sell it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Who do you prefer, <laughs> Oasis or Jesse Lingard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Oasis. Uh, ESPN FC <laughs> pack tomorrow. Stevie's not here. He's got the dentist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. However, Craig and Shaka <laughs> will be looking ahead to... What have we got this weekend? Big games. Juve against Napoli. Soccer. North, North London derby. We got All soccer. Going. We got a lot of soccer. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.